What's going on fam, it's your boy Anthony O'Neill and welcome to another edition of You Already Know, it's the AO. And today I'm pumped, I'm so thrilled because today I am at The Well, The Well Outreach and this is a ministry that is focused on helping people of all ages who are hungry. No one in America should have to go without eating something. And this ministry makes sure that happens. But today I wanna talk about something, what this ministry is focusing on. It's not just for those who are hungry, but it's also for those who wanna help serve people. And to me, that is amazing when you can serve and help others. So let's go check out exactly what they do. It's the whale. <laughs> Man, I'm pumped. I'm thrilled. But hey, before we start doing yeah, some yeah. talking, I need to ask you a question. Okay. How do you spell your name? A R I C A. This is with an A. That's what I do. Tell us exactly what does well stand for and exactly what do you all do? So, our mission here at the well is to be the hands and feet of Jesus by serving those in need, by supporting spiritual physical yes. and emotional growth. So okay. physically, we try to help them grow by providing food for them. Emotionally, okay. we're here for them. They have a lot of problems coming in that front door and we wanna to talk to them about those wow. problems. Wow. Make them feel loved on. Yeah. Very spiritually, we're praying with them. If they let us, okay. we're gonna hold their hands and yeah. lift up their concerns to Jesus. So those are three things we're really focused on. Say that again. Well. Emotional, emotional growth, physical growth, physical, and spiritual growth. And spiritual, mm -hmm. all in this building. All right here. And so here at the well, who can volunteer? Is it just adults? Can young people come in? I seen your beautiful daughter yes, earlier. Yes, she's volunteered. Like, she has? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got the Clorox wipe and she's like wiping down cabinets and stuff. That's what my daughter does. I like it, I like it. But of all ages, high school yeah. students can come in here and help and serve. Absolutely, yes. We take all ages here. There's a lot to do here. So yeah. whether it's stocking the shelves or sorting the food that comes in, okay. um, or if you want to walk with customers and help them shop the pantry, you can do that too here. Uh, but we have a lot of teens that uh, their parents drop them off and they get their volunteer hours because you know they got to have that. They got to have their volunteer hours for high school and college. Hey, volunteer hours, y'all. Yes, you guys right got to have that. So you can do that here. Yes. So if you're not in the Nashville area, man, find somewhere. Find somewhere where you can volunteer, get your volunteer hours. And also like what, what they're doing here, helping others emotionally, physically, and feeding them. And that, that's just amazing. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Hey. So hey. Anthony's filming today. Yeah, this comes wait, oh, from, wait, mm -hmm, wait. Mm -hmm, what you got? Wait. What do you got? <laughs> I mean, th and this, Only when I look around, I'm yeah. seeing that you all are, this is not low end, this is some <clears throat> good stuff here. We're trying, it gets better as you go along too, but. I mean, what yeah. get better than some yeah. pumpkin cupcakes? Yeah, Target's very good to us. So does Target sponsor some of this stuff for you all? They give us their day old bread, they call it. Day old. So before it expires, yeah. um, they give it to us so that we can give it out to clients. That is awesome. Yeah, so a lot of grocery stores like Target, Aldi's, Kroger, they, they'll give us um, even their meat, they'll freeze it before it expires and we'll get to give that out. They'll and, give uh, away And meat. the produce too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hamburger helper. <laughs> I grew up on this, y'all. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. No, yeah, probably. Nah, this you know good. what? This is the rich and creamy one. You know what we'll do? We'll put that with your can of corn and you'll yes. be good to go. You know what I mean? Where's my corn? <laughs> <laughs> I need corn. Oh, yeah, there oh, we are right there. Sorry. There you go. This, oh, 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 wait, that wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh, Give me the bread. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, wait, dessert. <laughs> what do you, oh, you need the pumpkin? Dessert, yep. <laughs> Unless it's your birthday. It's not your birthday, is it? No, oh, no, okay. all right, no, all right. July 1st. Right. And now, so after I get this, mm -hmm. we go back out. Yeah, so after, you're shopping all the way around this pantry. So every shelf here has different categories and you're shopping all the way around it. We have some freezers that might have some frozen meat in them, okay. some produce. Okay. We have a local farm, a, a local CSA farm that actually donates fresh produce down there at the end. Okay. Um, so you're gonna go through the entire kind of shelves and then after that we bag everything up and we have to weigh it. Wow. Uh, because we're partners with Second Harvest of Nashville, we weigh everything that comes in and everything that goes out because okay. they, they deal in pounds. Okay. 
So fam, I'm here with my little sister Marie. I just met her and she's already family to me. <laughs> but uh, Marie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, how old are you? What grade are you in? I'm 16. 16. I'm homeschooled. You're homeschooled? Yeah. Oh, yes. What is a young person like you doing here in serving? I have a heart for giving and I love helping people in need. Ah, you have a heart for giving and you love serving people in need. All right, so, um, so this is what I want to do if you're okay with this. I want to just follow you around. I want to help you serve someone else um, because this is amazing that you're here. Yeah, before I came to the wall, I used to live with my dad, and back in Colorado, there was a lot of people, like in downtown and stuff, that didn't have food, and me and my brother would buy them food and take them food. Wow. So now you don't have to buy the food, you can just come here and help them pick out the food. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all love it. All right, you guys, so as you can see, man, serving and helping others, it means so much to me personally. You know, when I was walking around and holding the bag for that gentleman and seeing him smiling, putting, putting the food inside the bag and choosing this and choosing that, and I'm like, wow, he is happy, and I'm helping him become happy. I'm helping him serve his family and, and find stuff for his family. And to me, that means so much to me personally. Because you know, when I was 19, I had people helping me out in something similar to the well. I know you're probably sitting there saying, what? So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I want you to go to my video that I posted last week and really pay attention to my story. Because at the age of 19, I was hurting and I needed some help. Serving to me, man, it does more to me than it does to the person who I'm serving. So with the holidays coming up, everybody and their mama, yes, you, me, and my mama, we are gonna wanna serve, and that is absolutely amazing. How about we make this, you and I, make this a lifestyle habit to where it's not just on the holidays, Thanksgiving and Christmas, we're doing this every month, we're doing this once a quarter. So what I'm gonna be doing is once a quarter, I'm gonna be serving, and I want you to tell me, how are you serving? I am looking for one creative viewer, like yourself, to come up with the most creative creative volunteer opportunity. Because why? We on a movement, baby. And I'm telling, we gonna do some things. Because you know why? Kindness is contagious. And once it starts spreading, it's unstoppable. So let's do this. Hashtag, your boy is out. I'll see you next week.